Hi everyone, my name is Sally and I am an Australian mixed media artist. Uh, this is not the video that I thought I would be putting out today, uh, but in the mail yesterday or the day before, I got the April upgrade subscription box. Subscription box. I'm so tongue tied today. Uh, so it came a little earlier than I was expecting, so I thought that we could open it up and see what's inside and make some art. So let's go. This is something I always forget that this is taped here. So you will need to cut that. Okay. I find there's just always so many supplies in the upgrade boxes. Color set art space 12 watercolors cute little palette interesting color palette okay this will be a nice neutral set to go alongside with the neons that I'm currently obsessed with and then we also have we have a brush uh, Lineo Zero, really fine bristle brush. We have Spectrum Noir Metallic oh. Oh. brush marker. It's a... Yeah, we've got a brush nib on one end and a fine point on the other. This is the colour Red Garnet and then we have a Tombow, what's this, like a little brush pen as well in black or grey maybe, maybe it's black on one end and grey on the other. I will swatch all these out. And then we have three more markers, Art Space Colour Marker. Looks like we've got a brush and a chisel nib on each of these. And our colours are just numbered. So we have V219. Which looks to be like a lavender. We have YG288. Which is like a pale yellow. And we have R160, which is like a pale pink. All right, so we've got a lot of different kinds of mediums here, which is totally up my alley. I love using uh, mixed media. So let's have a look at what else is in the box. I'm going to put these aside. Excuse me, butters. Uh, we have the Bottle Post magazine. You know, uh, boxes attract cats. That's why he's come to sit right on top of everything. Okay, so the Tombow is a Fudanusuke. Fudan Osuke. <laughs> I'm butchering this. I'm so sorry. Uh, twin tip, two brush tips. Yeah, with black and grey ink. So we can do hand lettering, flourishing shadows and sketching. So it's quite a versatile pen. Here's some more information. Righty. Uh, our Art Space Pocket watercolor set. 12 pans of water soluble violent artist vial, violent vibrant artist paints. I've been listening to Lana Del Rey Ultraviolence all morning and I think that's why that word is in my head. 
It comes in a small, durable aluminium case that is conveniently sized to take your paints with you wherever you full stop. <laughs> uh, it includes a mixing palette as well. Now, I have a larger version of this same kind of palette um, for my neon watercolours, and it's just a super handy palette. They're really easy to use, and I like having the little um, mixing palette on board as well. Ah, our surface. I haven't gotten that far. We have three pieces of Saunders Waterford hot pressed watercolour paper. I really like a, a hot pressed paper. It's smooth. Cold pressed watercolour paper is a lot toothier. It's quite a rough surface and I really actually like the raw edge on this. So our paper and then a little brush, round trip, round, why can't I read today? Round tipped butters. <laughs> Do you want to move, mate? Butters is 16 and uh, he just needed to come and have a little cuddle, but he's, he's jumped down now. So the brush uh, is uh, synthetic fibers, <laughs> butters. Our brush, uh, yeah, size zero, round tipped synthetic brush. And yeah, again, the paper, it's watercolor paper, 100% cotton. Here is some information about our co-captain for this month. This is Claudia, uh, a freelance illustrator from Germany. Upcrate is a German art subscription box. That's really cute. So we're going to be doing some illustrations, I think, this month. This is a really good box for me. I love all these supplies. I like this kind of artwork. We have some information about watercolours and how to use them, how to blend them, little step-by-step -step tutorial. It's a good magazine this one, there's lots of information. And this is a really great part of every month's bottle post. We have a page with a color wheel using all of the supplies. So this is all of the colors that you can make out of the watercolors. This is what we can do when we blend the marker colors together. And we have swatching of the uh, calligraphy pen as well. Look how cute this is. I love this. And Upcrate Battle, so every month uh, Upcrate do the Upcrate Battle, there is a prompt on the back and you can make artwork with this month's supplies and tag them and you might get your artwork featured in the magazine. So our prompt this month is thinking about the future, which is pretty open-ended. What else is in here? We have a little sticker sheet. These are really cute. They'll be going in my bullet journal. Uh, we have a Hello F Germany Hello Fresh voucher and some artwork from this month's co-captain and this is beautiful. I love this. Awesome. Uh, let's swatch out everything and see what we can make. Okay. So one thing I noticed, two of my sheets of watercolor paper have this embossing on them and one doesn't. 
So I think they might have just cut up maybe like the full sheet into four or something like that. So probably everyone's going to get a different piece of that paper. I don't really care about this. I'm going to use one of these sheets to do all my swatching on. Um, but that's just something to note. Uh, also, obviously, this is a very fine brush. Uh, I am probably going to add in some of my other brushes here. Uh, depends on what kind of artwork we make. But yeah, I don't see me doing a full watercolour piece with just this brush alone because it's quite tiny. It's going to be a very useful one in my permanent collection though. Okay, I decided to do a voiceover with a time lapse uh, sped up of the swatching. The alcohol markers are really lovely, but the colours are a lot brighter than I initially expected uh, that they were going to be. Not a problem at all, I just was expecting them to be a little bit more pastel. But yeah, really nice. Uh, the brush tip is not super flexible. Uh, this metallic marker, it turns out that that's something that everybody got and it's a replacement for ones we got a set in a, a box. I think it was maybe the December box last year. Um, and the red garnet shade was a bit dried out, so everybody got sent a replacement this month, which is kind of nice. I don't remember mine being too terrible, but you know, I got another one anyway. Uh, the black and grey brush marker, beautiful. And now I'm just swatching the watercolours. They all have uh, their shade number printed on the back, so I just wrote them all out on the swatch card. And went to swatching. They work beautifully on this paper and the colours are a lot brighter than I initially thought they were going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more of a muted palette. The blues are quite similar and there's two greens that are quite similar but other than that it's a pretty versatile palette. So as I'm swatching, my mind's just sort of ticking over about the prompt and thinking of all the things I could do and I'm starting to come up with an idea. And after swatching just out all the colours individually, I just did a couple of little mixes uh, there of like a greeny brown and an orange and a brighter green and then a blue-grey. So yeah, lots to work with. And then just because it is a mixed media box, uh, just testing out how different suppliers layer on top of each other, what the opacity is like, that sort of thing. Little EV break to flick the paper. And I thought as a trade-off, because we didn't get a pencil to sketch with, I thought that... I would use one of the alcohol markers to sketch with and add in one of my paint brushes. Um, so I'm using as much of the supplies as I can. So I decided to sacrifice a pencil uh, for a larger paintbrush. So that's what I'm using here now. And when I thought about the prompt, which is thinking about the future, I started, I was thinking about some new ideas I've had recently. And if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you would have seen that I've sort of had this idea to paint neon black metal corpse paint on my portraits. Uh, using neon colours rather than the traditional black just because those neon paints that I got have been sparking so many ideas. So when I think about the future, 
I just think about my art and I think about creating and I think about all the things I'm going to make. So I decided to do, um, I've just been doing those sort of new style drawings in my sketchbook, but I decided to do like a full piece um, using that prompt. So when I think about the future, I think about this new direction uh, that my artwork is going in. So yeah, sit back and enjoy the rest of this time lapse. Uh, I have decided to do a little real time finishing details uh, at the end. But yeah, I will quit talking now and I'll jump in at the end.
so these supplies all worked beautifully with each other. Uh, this was a really fun box, something that's very in my wheelhouse. I'm very familiar with watercolour and markers and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm also really excited about this new direction and these new ideas um, that my art is taking. And because I didn't have the neon colours that I have been working with, uh, I decided to do her corpse paint in one of the brighter greens. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really love getting the art subscription boxes because you never know what you're going to get and it's always cool coming up with an idea using the prompts. Uh, feel free to like this video and subscribe and you know all of that that you know how to do. Uh, my next video will be my April monthly faves because um, somehow it is the end of April already. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you like this piece as much as I enjoyed doing it and I will see you next time.